Alrighty, welcome everyone to, uh, this is a video, video review in progress, I guess what, is what we're going to call it. Yeah. I'm joined with Chris Ingalls, and I am Taylor Davis from MainStreetGames.com. Oh. And, uh, so this week, two games came out, Retail, Saints Row the 4th, and Splinter Cell Blacklist, is it called? Is that what you're playing? Yep. So Chris is playing uh, Splinter Cell Blacklist, and I am playing here on screen Saints Row the Fourth. And uh, I'll let you go ahead and talk, and I'll just kind of. All right. Uh, so Splinter Cell, so far I love it. Like if you were on the fence about this game, you just go pick it up. It's really, really cool. Uh, there, people like some people like Splinter Cell fans didn't really like the last game because it was too much of like an action adventure game. And this one, they, like, seamlessly integrated, like, all three of the sort of game types that they offer. And the three game types that they offer are Ghost, which is, like, super stealth. You get a ton of gadgets and, like, really cool, uh, like, a really cool suit that you can't be seen too easily. And then there's, like, Panther, which is, like, sort of like a hybrid of them both. Like, you get a pistol, but, like, not a huge, like, AR or anything. And then it focuses, like, on the pistol and sort of like some elements of both and then there's assault which is like you get a big ar like a, the focus is the ar and like explosives like grenades um the missions are fan like the f i've i'm in the middle of the game right now and the missions so far have been fantastic um they're long like super immersive and one of the things that has really like shocked me about this game is how awesome the ai is I love, like, I'm a sucker for good AI, and this game has great AI. Uh, once you, like, I was playing through a mission, and I was probably, I died, and I had to go back to a checkpoint that was probably, like, five minutes before, and I was much, much better at, like, being quiet the second time. And just the way the enemies were so much different when, like, they had been sort of alerted to my presence, like, everyone had moved up a couple spots, like the enemies were in different areas. It was. It's just a really, really great experience so far. Yeah, that's really cool. I'm glad it's not like, whoa, I messed up here, here, and here. Uh, let me restart and play through in ten seconds. Yeah, it's it's really cool. Uh, and then like, the, if you're, it, the AI is great. Uh, if you like, leave a window open that wasn't open before, like they'll go and look at it. Like they'll go check it out. If you leave a door open that wasn't open before, they'll go check it out. So in one place, I. Uh, I had, like, I was keeping an eye, I had executed a guy in one room, and I was keeping an eye on another guy, and as he was coming back, I threw open the window and just hid right outside the window, but he noticed that the window was open when he came back, so he walked up to the window and he shot me, oh, <laughs> like, shit. I was right there. That's cool. And that's, like, something you would never, like, I've never seen in a game before where they are that, de like, the AI is that dedicated. Um, the only game I can think of that even comes close is Bioshock Infinite, so... Um, I haven't so, got to try the multiplayer yet, but I'm very, like, I'm super excited for that, too. That's, like, the Spies vs. Mercs that was from, that they left out of convention. Well, they added it, like, in DLC, but I'm so very like, excited to try that as well. I'm not a big Splinter Cell fan at all. Why would I want to play Blacklist? Uh, I, what I've actually thought about you in this game is you're a big achie fan of achievements, and the achievements for this, I think, are a ton of fun. Uh... Let me pull up the list here. Uh, one of the achievements is to go through the entire game without killing someone. Yeah, that's ridiculous. Dishonored had that, and I don't. I see. I'm not a. I don't know, man. I, I feel like you'd have to commit <laughs> so much time to that, and it'd be a really cool. Yeah, that would be so like it. It would be so hard. A lot of people aren't uh, gonna get that achievement. There's uh, another cool achievement called uh, called. Uh, let me find it here. Well, all the, all the, there's a lot of different, like, pickups, you know, like, but another thing that's cool about this game that I really enjoy is, is called High Valuable Targets, or High Value Targets, and if, like, while you're on a mission, like, the, the person that, like, is assisting you radios in and is like, hey, this guy appears like a local drug dealer, if you take him out and capture him, and, like, leave him for local authorities, you can get a big reward, like, money-wise, um, so that's really cool. Uh, it's just kind of like a nice little side mission every time, and one of the achievements is to get all the high valuable targets. Nice. Um, another great mission, another great achievement is complete a single player mission without being detected. Like you could not, like you could never raise an alarm. Yeah, um, that's pretty cool. That's really cool. 
Another great thing that they added to this game is money. Like, money is the thing now. For every mission, you get an X amount of money. And there's a lot of things you can spend money on, like different uh, gadgets. You can upgrade your plane that uh, gives you all kinds of different uh, little benefits. Like, one of the, like some of the upgrades for the plane are like strategy, like, oh, you get a mini-map on your HUD, or if you unlock, or if you upgrade this part of your plane, you have better connections with the black market, so you have access to seven new weapons. So they've done a really good job of like incorporating not only the money, but ways to spend it so that it doesn't feel like you're earning it for nothing. That's cool. Davis, what do you think of Saints Row 4? Alright, so I'm having trouble being fair with this game because, well, to start this game, I guess we're lucky to even be playing this game, first off, because a lot of stuff happened with what? THQ. Like with, with THQ going under and stuff, like this game could have easily been yeah. lost. So I mean, I mean it's here, and it's not. A lot of people were concerned, like, oh, it's gonna be like a knockoff, like just DLC of Saints Row Three, and it it's not really. It feels like its own game for sure, because what they did in this game, the obvious addition, was they added superpowers, and I'm not sure how I feel about this because when you're when you're playing with superpowers, it doesn't feel like Saints Row anymore. Because Saints Row, when I started playing Saints Row, I played one and two, and those were my favorite, and it's really like. It was about gang customization, getting more gang and get more members of your gang, and they're just doing like, doing like missions that you expect from from a gang yeah. type, uh, world. And now this is like aliens have invaded the Earth. You're the president. All these people around you have been abducted, and now you're just in this simulator. And you're in the simulu. Oh my gosh, you can't talk. Simulator. This was actually my prediction with this game you're that it would get too crazy for its own good. Like yeah. it prides itself on being like this super crazy game. But it's become so super crazy that, like, Literally, it's almost disturbing. Like, you can't, like, it. you just can't even take it seriously. Yeah, they don't take themselves seriously, but they don't take themselves too seriously too much now. Like, it's just ridiculous. I don't, there's moments where I don't know what game I'm playing. I feel like I'm playing a Crackdown knockoff right now as I'm jumping in all over the place and... Oh, I didn't like, even think about it being like crackdown. Yeah, it's, and, and there's even these clusters, which I'm running into right now on building tops that allow you to unlock stuff. It's just like agility orbs. It's, I don't know, I don't, this game is not rubbing me the right way. But it is fun, it's, it's, it's obviously, it's, uh, there's plenty of stuff to do on it, so it's definitely worth a full retail. Like, it's not a knockoff like people thought it was going to be. Like, it's its own game, there's plenty of stuff to do it, there's a lot of time you can invest in it. And if you're a Saints Row fan, I definitely say, so far I'm going to say pick it up. But if you're not a Saints Row fan, you might have trouble enjoying this game. Is there anything new that you, like, are a really big fan of? I mean, the superpowers is cool because you run faster than any car. But at the same time, like, they, they've improved the driving in this game. Like, it was kind of, it wasn't, like, the best driving game compared to, like, a Grand Theft Auto. But uh, they actually improved the driving a lot on this game. But then you don't ever use it. You don't ever drive a car anymore. It's literally super run with your super power, super jump all the time. I actually think that's why they added the superpowers is so that you wouldn't have to drive. You can just go. Because I think people are kind of tired of cars. In, like I'm kind of tired of cars in games. To be honest with you. Yeah, but I don't know. Because like that's the mode of transportation every time. And I mean, I realize that cars are such a. Well, how does a do it? huge part of society and like life in general. But like, name another mode of transportation in a game that wasn't car. Like Red Dead Redemption had horses, but same premise. I don't know. I kind of I kind of like the idea of something different in a game like that. But. It's definitely different, that's for sure. This whole game is doesn't really feel like a Saints Row anymore. It feels like a Crackdown, a funny non. Yeah, I, well, it, at least it sounds like you're kind of enjoying it. <laughs> when I say enjoying it, it's it's tough. I'm really I'm stuck between a rock and a hard place right now with this game, especially with like what happened in the story. I don't know how this is gonna end. I'm something just happened that blew me away. So now I'm like, okay, I gotta finish this. I gotta know what happens. So it definitely gets. Stuck. I, uh, it's a lot of a lot of gameplay though. There's plenty of stuff to do. I forgot to mention one of my favorite new parts of Splinter Cell. Uh, they, they, it isn't necessarily like new, but they did improve a lot on the cover system. Like 
the cover system is absolutely seamless. Like the cover system is amazing. Is it Gears of War style now? This is this, that's one of the things I think you would really like in this game, Davis. Is it Gears of War style? So like, oh, I just like I, it's so fluid into the transition. Like the transition between like fighting and like the stealthy stuff is so seamless and fluid that it's a, it's like it's just a joy to play. It feels like it feels like the first time you played Gears of War. Good. You know what I mean? So yeah. My question like is that's how for you so far is uh, you think Splinter Cell would be worth the uh, sixty dollar price tag it's got on it? I'm sorry, I didn't catch that. What's up? Do you think uh, Splinter Cell is worth the sixty dollar price tag that's on it? Is the replayability? Of I do. Well, okay. So on top of the main story, there's also a bunch of side missions, and then there's also like five or six different multiplayer modes. Like, there's a lot of content here. And it's all pretty much... All the missions are... Or all the missions are sandbox, basically. Like, there is definitely, like, some predetermined routes that they want you to take. But, like, if you want to, like, go up to, like... If you want to just go in Guns of Blazing, you can go in Guns of Blazing. If you want to, like, go stealth, you can go stealth. I really like Like, that. I was just... I was just playing, and, like, I, I knocked a guy out stealth, and I threw him out a window... And somebody, like, there was a guard below the window, <laughs> and, like, he like he landed right in front of him, and he's, like, and that guard, like, went to alert the guards, and I had to quick jump out the window and go take him out before he could alert everyone. That's cool. That's really cool. Yeah. It was, it's, like, a, it's just a really cool way to do it, I think. And, like, this is kind of the game that Splinter Cell needed to, kind of, like, revise the franchise. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's cool. Because, like, Conviction, like, kind of got away from, like, what makes these games really good. What I, what I like about these games, anyway. So, it was, it was, it's kind of nice to see it, like, go back to its roots. But they still went out of their way to include stuff for, like, I say for, like, the Call of Duty community that, like, love, like, action shooter. You know, like, it's still pretty shootery if you want it to be. But if you don't, you don't have to play it that way. Yeah, that's cool. I really appreciate that, too. Yeah. It's just a really good way to do it. So, uh, I mean, we're both still playing these games, obviously. We'll probably, hopefully, have a full review by, I think, this weekend, possibly. Um, mine's probably going to be up tomorrow. Really? My, yeah, I'm kind of writing as I go. It's, it should be all right. And you have uh, Flashback tomorrow, too. Yeah, Flashback 2. Uh, flashback's coming out tomorrow. It is part of the Summer of Arcade. Uh, we'll have a review for that, too. That'll probably be a little bit later in the week, just because the time I'm going to devote to Splinter Cell, but yeah, well, so the reason we put this video up today is because we kind of didn't want to stop reviewing these games so that we can make sure we get you guys the reviews as quick as possible, but it was still kind of a good idea if you're on the fence about buying a game or really interested in one, kind of our initial thoughts, um, but yeah, I'm, uh, so you're saying Saints Row, pick it up if you like the Saints Row franchise, if not, probably say, not. If you're Saints Row, if you're Saints Row fanboy, it's worth your 60 bucks. If you're not, it's uh, I mean it's a good way to have fun. I think I just found something really cool. Yeah, I did. This is really cool. What'd you find? Uh, it's like a Doom buggy vehicle thing. Oh, that's oh. pretty cool. Yeah. So, uh, but if you're not, if you're not a big Saints Row guy, I mean, rent it for like five days, maybe get some get some easy yeah. achievements. It's a fun game, but uh, I definitely especially don't, like I don't plan on spending much the, time in this world. With the gaming drought we've had, it's kind of nice to. Have two like pretty big blockbuster titles. I mean, yeah, pretty massive titles coming out. For everybody to enjoy. All right, this has been a review in progress by Main Street. Gary. Video review in progress. Video. Yeah, Saints Row here. Uh, keep it locked to MainStreetGamers.com this week for these uh, full written reviews and everything else gaming. I'm Taylor Davis. I'm Chris Engels. And we will see you next time.